Hey guys, I'm Dan from Fire and Saw, and today I'm checking out the DeWalt Max XR 20 volt chainsaw. Comes with a 12 inch bar and a battery, of course. This is a 5 amp hour battery, which is said to last for between 1 and 2 hours, depending on the type of work you're doing. And it charges really quickly. Uh, the battery came uncharged, but it, yeah, it, really, it charged within an hour. And then um, it's got this chain brake, which when it's engaged, uh, you cannot use the saw. It completely stops it, unlike a gas chainsaw, which will idle. So you just take it off, and the trigger's just got a wee safety catch, and then... So it feels like a decent amount of power, straight off the bat. Uh, it's got a tallest chain tensioner. Uh, here and a tightener. Uh, it's got your bar and chain oil tank here, and that's about all there is to it. It's really basic, really straightforward, and there's not much more to say in terms of features. For those who are interested in the specs, let me just read a few off the box here. Eight eight point one pounds or three point seven kgs. Um, 0 0.043 gauge chain, chain speed 25.2, this is boring, so I'll leave a link in the description to my full blog post on the saw and you can find out all of the specs and details that nobody's really interested in and um, I'll leave a link to this exact model on Amazon and a few other retailers as well so you can check it out for yourself. But now, I'm going to try it out on a few pieces of wood, and I'm even going to try and take down a small tree. So let's do it. So here's my first test cut. Uh, never been used before, and so this is the first. This is just an old fence post. I think I've removed all the nails from it. I just um, don't have any branches handy right now. So I'll test it out on this. Yeah, so she does the job, as you'd expect. Uh, it's a little bit slow. I don't know what the equivalent cc's this would be. Uh, I'll put that down in the description as well. Maybe like a 30, 35 cc chainsaw. Um, I was using a small steel chainsaw yesterday, a, a steel 011, and um, I think that's a 40 cc saw, which definitely had a lot more power and was a lot faster cutting through some quite thick pieces of wood. So next I'm going to go and try some branches. So next I've got this little shrub. I don't know if it's a rhododendron or a camellia or some sort of a hybrid. Anyway, we have hundreds of them and this one never does very well because it's in the sh it never sees the sun and it's sort of blocking the path that we've made through the trees here. So I'm just going to take this out. So yeah, it's definitely really good for these sorts of things, these small branches and limbs. However, it's probably got a little bit less power than I was expecting. So I think I'll need to use one of my other larger chainsaws for the small tree that I had in mind to cut down next. Here is another larger branch on this rhododendron. I just, I don't want to take out the whole tree, but just prune this branch here that is sort of regrowing after I'd cut it some years ago and it's sort of branching out across the paths so we'll see how it does on this slightly thicker branch
And for a final example of what the DeWalt 20 volt Max XR chainsaw can do, this is a horse chestnut tree that is about 15 or 20 feet high and the base is starting to rot out so it's time to come out. So I've just climbed up this tree and am taking it down bit by bit as it's beside a few fences. There's three fences that actually are within reach of this tree so it couldn't just be dropped from the bottom. And even though it looks like it's kind of close to those power lines, it's not really. There was plenty of room. So the great thing about this chainsaw for this type of job is that it's so light that you can easily climb up a tree with it if you sort of know what you're doing and just take off branches like this. The base of this tree was about two foot wide, maybe a bit, bit wider even, so I had to get out a larger chainsaw for that. I used my Husqvarna 450. I couldn't have climbed the tree with that chainsaw, so I'm glad I had this little battery powered model. The other great thing about these battery powered chainsaws is that they aren't idling all the time. They're only making noise and it's very quiet only while you're using them, so it's, it's really handy in that way as well. But overall, I really like this chainsaw. I've used it a lot since filming these clips. And I'll continue using it wherever I need to because it is just handy to pick up and use straight away. The battery charges quickly. It lasts a long time as well. Like this is all on one charge and it still hadn't died. Yeah, it's just an excellent saw. So check out the description below to find my full review on the blog and also where you can find this model on Amazon. Thanks for watching.